For those who don't know me, my name is Stephanie. And I'm Ada's maid of honor. It's incredible to think it took 10 years and a whole pandemic later to finally give this speech. And I finally get to talk about one of the greatest love stories to unfold. Ada, I'm not sure if you remember this, but we had a discussion way back, about 10 years ago, when life wasn't so easy for us. And I remember telling you, think about the long game. And that even though it was rough in the moment, you're gonna be so happy. You're gonna be so happy that you pulled through because you're gonna have the most epic love story. Brian, 13 years ago, we went on a walk around the seawall, and I remember thinking, this feels like the beginning of something special. And back then, at 16 years old, the only thing on my mind was, I hope he becomes my boyfriend. And as we walked, I remember quietly singing a very specific Taylor Swift song. The song was forever and always. Who knew that night was going to mark the beginning of our relationship? Now look at us today, standing in front of our favorite people, promising our forever and always. Ada, I stand here today nervous and excited. After looking back, I was a prime example of a clueless man, because everything that I ever desired was right in front of me. A beautiful, confident, and driven woman. But most importantly, you believed in me when no one else did. And you took a chance on me and never looked back. One thing I can say about Ryan is that he cares and loves with his whole heart. And that's where Ada comes in. Ryan loves Ada with every ounce of his body. And I'm so glad you met her, Ryan, because I've basically gained another best friend and a younger sister. Um, how did I meet Ada? Well, we became friends, besties, a few years ago, but before that, we were also siblings. Although my sister might not believe me when I say this, I have always looked up to her. I truly thought she was the prettiest girl in the entire world. I mean, look at her today. As a sister, my biggest worry was that no guy could ever be good enough for my big sister. But Ryan, from getting to know you in the last 10 years, I have no doubt that my sister will have her fairy tale ending with you. We have been together for 10 years now, which is a total of 3,652 days. In those 3,652 days, we have shared so many laughs, tears, and adventures. But what I love most about those 3,652 days is all the time I got to spend getting to know you on the deepest levels. Thank you for loving me, even on the days I don't love myself. For always reminding me that I am strong and beautiful. I used to think I needed a love that would complete me. But over the last 10 years, you showed me I was already whole. You inspired me to complete myself to believe in myself and to love myself. I feel so much love in this room that I don't really know how a night can get better than this. And I think I can speak on behalf of my family that we're so thankful that we're every one of you for loving Ada and Ryan. Ada and Ryan, I'm truly excited for what holds for the both of you. I know you two will share a happy life together filled with incredible accomplishments 
and memories. Congratulations to the both of you. Feeling fussy, you walk in my Valencia, so he's trying to bring out the fabulous because I give a fuck way too much. I have never seen you happier, and you guys truly have set the standard for what love should be. You guys are the definition of what three thick and thin is. If anyone knows a thing about me, learning is what gets me going and that's what I'm most excited for about today. That I get to spend the rest of my days learning about you. Ada, you're my best friend, my soulmate, and the love of my life. I couldn't imagine my life without you. I can't wait to continue this journey with you. I love you. No matter where we are in the world, when I'm with you, I'm home. You are my home. There will be unknowns in this life, but with this, I'm sure. So I'll end this with two words. It's you. It's always been you, and it will always be you. I love you. <laughs>